hello guys welcome to the fourth video on mastering bizel tool um in this video we're going to be illustrating um, a pair using the bizel tool and um if you haven't been watching the previous videos um the link is in the description make sure you watch that before watching this and um uh, let's get started um you know i've brought i've, I've drawn um a pair a picture of a pair so um i, I just made that visible right now um i've drawn that and let me move this up a bit I've drawn this and also I have a color palette here that I'm gonna use. And here's the color palette. Um you can download it from the description. So um let's make this um invisible. Let's take that to the back. So um let's start illustrating. Where's the business one? So let's pull it out and start illustrating. Um so BZ2. First we we want to draw the outline. And um, I think let's try to see if we can use just two points. Um, let's connect the points using the um, um, the actions. So we click on this to connect points, and let's edit the points using this. So let's bring this here. Let's increase the stroke a bit. Yeah. Let me drop this here. Let's zoom in. Alright. Zoom out a bit and go to the bottom. Let's put this here. Yeah. So um let's try to match it. Let's see if we can do that with just two points. I doubt that, but um, let's just give it a try and see. It's obvious that, right? Yeah, it's obvious. We can't use just two points. We need to add more points. And. Um, Let's put this right here and this right here. So let's add more points. So let's go to add points. To add more points, we click on this. You know, to, since um it's a closed curve now, we add points using this icon here, right there. So um let's see. No, we don't want to add it there. Oh, okay. Let's just add it up. Okay, so um, we need this to be here, this to be here, and this to be here. So let's um, let's match all the points. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Um, let's zoom to the bottom. And make sure that, that everything is aligned all right so let's try to align Yeah, let's zoom out and let's check and see if um, we have good shape mark that yeah I think um let me make this invisible and see how that looks like yeah we are okay with this then um let's do something I want to copy this 
and edit now I want to make this I want to take the stroke to zero then I want to use um I want to fill up the color and I want this color to be um, notice the background color is actually um, number four so let's go to number four and choose this yeah number four and we want to take this to the back so um yeah I'm gonna take this to the back make sure it's aligned Yeah, that's a line enough, and we want to lock that up and make this. Now I need um the color for this outline or the stroke should be. We want to edit that and put the color we want. Notice the color here should be the color of the outline should be no one. Oops. Now um let's take that back exactly the stroke color Here is it yeah then mark okay we go with that then um I want to make this invisible a bit then we want to illustrate these um these so let's pull out the bezel tool take stroke to zero extract to zero and we need two points just two points so we want to connect the points or um you know for the sake of or, okay let's do this let's um let's connect the points so the points are connected now so let's fill it with the color and we want the color though the stroke should also be this color so we are not stroke rather the fill up color and we want to edit the point and we want to zoom in um, before we zoom in let's take this closer and let's uh, reduce the opacity a bit and let's zoom in drop this here Yeah, and um, let the color be 100. Um, let's take the opacity to 100 and mark that. Then pull out the bezel tool again. Take stroke to zero, stroke with zero. Then um, let's zoom out so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, so um, go to connect points. You want to fill the color you want to use this color too edit points to move this closer move this closer then zoom in Make sure it's aligned, take opacity down a bit so you'll be able to see what you're doing. Bring this here, and bring this here. Yeah, take capacity back 
and Magda. Zuma are B. Then the next is um we wanna create um make this um you know give this a touch. Make sure you lock this down. Then um pull out the bezel tool. Let's see how many points we need here. We need um one one oh sorry for that okay let's just edit with that we need one point here one point here one point here and i think one other point here and we connect the points take up um take um stroke to zero then fill with this color take capacity down and edit points you can zoom in bring this way right then um make sure it's aligned yeah zoom out a bit Let's see, take opacity to 100% and let's see how that looks like. Um, the color, let's go back. The color should be two. So we go to two, put the color there. Yeah, that's it. And um, let's do some, let's, let's still edit. I'm gonna make this align perfectly. Zoom in. Yeah, that's it. Then zoom out. Then take it to the back. Make this visible a bit. Let's see how that looks like. Let's make this invisible. Yeah. So um, let's kind of edit a bit. Let's let's do something. Like this. Let's zoom out. Make sure it's aligned. Yeah. So um let's lock that up. Make that invisible. And make this visible so we to um illustrate the other points. Let's pull out the bezel tool. One point here, one point here, 
one point here. Um, let's see that. One point here. And um, one point here. And here. Then here. Connect the points. Take um, stroke to zero. Fill in with um. Let's go get the color. Notice the color is um three. So go to three. Pick the color. Then we're back. Go to edit points. Take opacity to you know down a bit to so be able to see what you're doing. And zoom in. Let's see how that looks like. Take a pass to 100%. Mark that. Um, let's edit the point. Looks like. Um, let's go down. Looks like this point came out. It's a line. Then um, let's zoom out 100 percent Let's take the, this back. Let's make this invisible. Let's make this visible. Let's make this also visible. Let's see how that looks like. Yeah, makes sense. So um let's move it in a bit. That's it, that's it. Then um let's lock that up. Make this invisible, this invisible, this invisible, then make this visible until we're done. Is that so? Um, we only need two points for this edit points, then connect points. This right here, and then this, and we need a pointed edge. Yeah, we need a pointed edge right here. Then we want to zoom in, make sure we want to zoom in. Then 
can take struct zero struct zero um we don't, we, we want to fill it with um go check the color five so go to five and fill it with five zoom out 100 percent that's it um let's make that visible so we see how that looks like and um let's do something let's reduce the opacity there yeah all right um let's lock that make that invisible 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 and let's continue um we want to illustrate um this bottom here Brazil to we just need two points here two connect points Deep point bring this here bring this here we need a pointed edge and as always the best way to get used to the busier tool is to practice with it and that's what we're doing Sorry to cut you short. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe to the video, um, to the channel, you know, like this video. You can share it with your friends. And um, let's continue. Um, let's zoom in. Bring this here. We just want to cre create that illusion of depth so it looks more 3D. Yeah, take stroke to zero and let's fill it with the color. I think the color should be um, um let's use the same color. Let's use um. This is the same color as um as this. We're gonna reduce the opacity a bit. Let's zoom out. Let's make this visible, 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 visible. I wanna take opacity to opacity, take it down. Yeah, then um, this we wanna we wanna take it down because it's actually the edge is actually showing. Yeah, that's it. Um, let's make this invisible a bit and see how that looks like. Okay, invisible, invisible, invisible. Take this down. This, sorry, not that. This and this. Um, more edit points, join points. Bring this here. Bring this here. Zoom in. Make sure it's aligned.
text stroke to zero and fill with six color six look at it six color six yeah let's make that invisible zoom out then it's time to illustrate the leaves so let's pull out the bezier tool sorry so let's pull out the bezier tool bezier tool uh, we need um three points and connect the points and now we need a sharp edge a pointed edge bring this here bring this here bring this down there zoom in I'll bring this here this also here make sure it's on this point so you create a straight line with that that's it And at this point, let's bring. Um, let's make sure it's here. That's it. yeah and um we need um let's let's take um stroke to zero and now we still want to use um the color for the outline which is one yeah mac then um make sure that's um locked then um we also need to draw more to, um Let's pull out the bezier to zoom out. We need um, three points also. Three points, connect points. And zoom in. is on top of this and also this on top of this we want a sharp edge or pointed edge take Stroke to 
zero. Then we need the same color. Yeah. That's it. Pull out the bezel tool. And zoom out. Let's go back. Pull out the bezel tool. We need three points. Connect points. Stroke to zero, fill with this color, and um, take opacity down so we have to see what we're doing. Um, bring this here. This here. This here. On top of this. these on top of this stroke 200 percent yeah zoom out Bezier two, three points, connect points, edit points. You know what? Let's go back and I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy this and bring it here. And I wanna rotate. Let me take that down a bit. Zoom in, let me zoom in. Yeah. Take the size down. Two. Yeah. Then I wanna rotate this and flip. See how that looks like. Let's bring it closer. That's it. And um, we want to illustrate the last part of the leaf and um, zoom out. Big Z two. Three points. Neck points, edit points. Bring this here. Zoom in. Stroke to zero, filling with this color, so could pass it down a bit, then edit. Bring this right here, and then this right here.
um, you can download the the um, PLP file or pixel app file this from the description so um, make sure to check out the description and download take 100 um, take opacity to 100 percent and still you can still like this to make sure it's um doing it the right way yeah and that's it let's zoom out all right let's lock those then um big zero two we need um how many points we need three points then um connect points bring this here these here looks like we can actually use just one two points so let's take let's take our one point let's bring this here Let's see how it looks like. Stroke to zero. And the color we want to pick right now is um seven. Yeah, seven. So let's go to seven. Let's pick this color. Take or pass it down. Zoom in. Make sure it's aligned. And this here. Yeah. Pass it to hundred percent. Take it to the back. And um, I want to move this. Yeah, that's it. Then um, take it back again. Yeah. Then I wanna lock it. I wanna, uh, I wanna lock that up. Pull out the bezel tool. Zoom out. I need um. think um two points so two points we do connect points and um outline color should be the first color which is this i want to edit point and bring this up oh, sorry that shouldn't be we shouldn't fill that with a color so let's take color down just the stroke so we need the stroke color to be one Oops. Yeah. So um zoom in. Bring this here. Bring this here. Zoom in a bit. right so that's crazy and then the pointed edge
Yeah. Then um let's lock that up and zoom out. We need one more. I think this should be the last or oh, second to the last actually. But we need um we need three points. Three points, connect points. Bring this here. No, just two points. Two points will do. Bring this here, bring this here. Zoom in. Take stroke to zero. Then color. Go to the image and um, the color should be eight, which is this. That's it. Take um, pass it to take it down a bit and edit point. Bring this here. Yeah, take opacity back to 100 and mark take the back. Back again. Mm. Back. Invisible this and this, and um, this is just the last part. Zoom out, we need two points connected and edit. Four minutes. Take this over bit. Then um stroke to zero and the filling color should be um should be nine. Yeah. Take that to take that down a bit and Bring this here. Bring this here. Yeah. All right, let's go back and make everything visible and see how that looks like. And um, yeah, so um, let's make everything visible. Let's make these invisible. 
visible, 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 visible. And I want to make these on. Um, let's take this down. Looks like um. Take this down, we want to reduce opacity. Yeah, that's it. Then um we wanna uh, let me uh, I need to save this as um as a project so I can use it anytime I want to use it. Peer. Hope I don't get the spelling messed up. Peer. Hey, what's wrong? Okay, saved. So I wanna um I wanna combine all these into one. Match. No. Yeah, match. Yeah, I'm good to go. I'm good, I'm good to go. Now let's select the background color. And we want the background to be the same color as this. Yeah, that's it. And let's take this down a bit. Then um, we're gonna create shadow. And we want the shadow to be um, a kind of um. Let's choose this, but we would um, reduce the opacity. Let's um, let's reduce the blur. Shift it to the side. Shift it down a bit. We want to reduce the opacity a bit. Let's go to color. Reduce, reduce, reduce more, more. Yeah, and that's it. We're true. So, um, comment down below if you have any problem downloading the PLP file, or if you have, um, you know, encountered problem and downloading um most of our files from our drive. Um, let us know. In, let, um, let us know in the comment section if you are new to the video or um to this channel. You know, we create interesting videos. You know, how to um create designs with your phone, and we are on the fourth video on on use on on, on mastering Bezel two. So um, at this point, I uh, will see you in the next video.